Hey, today is uh, um, February 12th, 2022. I just had a really good talk on the phone with um, Corey C. And we talked about like a lot what's going on. So my thesis is it's all tribal. So first of all, I haven't done a lot of videos because there are so many good channels saying things for me and saying things in a way that's better and more concise and more information. Like, for example, obviously Joe Rogan's popular. I like a lot of his podcasts. But um, Lex Friedman, one of my favorites. I also um, like some of Ben Shapiro stuff. On the left, we have Jimmy Dore, who has some good stuff. And there's just so many good podcasts out there. Um, Dark Horde podcasts with the Weinsteins and everything. But anyhow, so um, watching a lot of these podcasts and realizing that um, arguing is futile. And there's a reason why. So we are human beings and we are designed, whether it was creation or whatever it was, how we're designed to be tribal. If you look at the human experience, the vast majority of the human experience was a tribal human experience. This idea of living in a society with like trucks and electricity and whatever, that is only a few generations around. Tribal is, is, is the human way of doing things. So um, with tribal humans, one of the worst things that can happen to a member of the tribe is to be kicked out of the tribe. So let's say you go back, you know, several thousand years ago and you're, you're living in a tribal situation. They kick you out of a tribe and you're in the wilderness, right? Now you're in big trouble. It's one of the worst, especially if you were um, older or, you know, weaker or, you know, you have no way. It's like fending on your own in the wilderness against other tribes, against predators, having to feed yourself pretty much was death. So um, with this tribal mentality, the people on this other side, the woke, if you look at them, they are the opposite of alpha males, right? You know, if you kick an alpha male out of the tribe, they often can, you know, fight other other people, you know, they can hunt, whatever. But you tr you, you kick out like um, an, an, a middle-aged woman from the tribe and she's in big trouble because if she doesn't starve or get killed by a predator, what's going to happen is that another tribe is going to get her and then she might not be, might be a worse situation. So what happens with, with tr the tribal situation is that a we're programmed for being tribal. So a lot of people, people who are woke, they are the kind of people who would not survive outside the tribe. So they're going to do what the tribe says and they're going to believe what the tribe told them because they have a genetic need to be in the tribe because without being in the tribe, they're going to die. Their animal side overrides their logical brain. So you cannot reason with them. There is not a single fact you can tell someone um, that, will, that will change their belief because in their primitive mind, if they go against the tribe, they're dead. Okay. So what happens is it has to come from within their tribe. So the pe these tribal people like who are woke, the message has to come from their opinion leaders only before they believe it. You can present them with all the facts in the world and their primitive mind says, if I go against my tribe, I'm, I'm kicked out and I'm dead. So that's kind of my thought and my thesis. So when you see these woke people, the thing to do is, I don't know, just be gentle with them because they are the weak ones, right? A lot of these people who are very loud, they're loud online. One-on-one right, -on -one person, they're not loud, and, and they're they're completely different. They're they're kind of meek. So just realize that when you're online talking to these tribal people, right? They're protected by their tribe, which is like their social media. But if they leave the tribe, their animal side perceives them as dead. So thanks and be well.